Here's a hack. If you want to be as productive, focused, and effective as some of the most successful people in the world, then do as they do and wear the same damn thing every single day. and today I wanted to talk about why you should start wearing a work uniform and share my work uniform with you. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button plus the little bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos which happens on a weekly basis. So in my journey of having a more minimalist, productive, focused, and just success-oriented life, really focusing on my personal development, I have come to realize that one of the big things that impacts my ability to be productive and focused in the morning is figuring out what to wear and what I happen to wear. I remember when I used to go into my corporate job, I would find so many excuses and reasons that I needed to go shopping because I always felt like I didn't have anything to wear. And in the mornings or even at night before I went to bed, I would spend so much time putting together outfits and having almost decision fatigue, using a lot of my energy to make all these decisions on what I should just wear every day. Now that I work from home, I find that it is easy to put on some some yoga pants and other sweatshirts and whatnot and sometimes I do that especially if I'm feeling sick but I do try and find it to be very effective if I can put on something that is a this is what I go to work in every day but on top of that instead of just finding a new outfit to wear every day I found that I was way better off if I wore pretty much the same thing every day. Something that I knew looked good on me, that I felt comfortable in, and that I could reasonably wear to a business meeting if I had to, but I could also comfortably wear at home. I started doing this because I found that some of the most successful people in the world had their own work uniform and wore the same thing every day. Obviously, this removed a lot of decision fatigue from entrepreneurs to inventors to fashion designers to authors, people that needed to perform at a high level every single day, show up and get their work done. They didn't have any time to make decisions around what they should be wearing and they probably saved a lot of money from going out and spending money on things like new and fad fashion. So I decided to rip a page of my own out of the handbook of success written by people like Steve Jobs, Michael Kors, Tim Ferriss, and Mark Zuckerberg and decided that I needed to have my own work uniform, something that I wore pretty consistently every day that suited my own personal brand, my personal fashion sense, and you know, allowed me to be comfortable. So without further ado, here is my work uniform and how I put it together. Now I don't personally wear the exact same thing every day. I'm not gonna wear the same black turtleneck and jeans, but I did wanna kind of stay around the same color scheme and articles of clothing that I was going to wear every day. Now, since I'm in Chicago, obviously our summers can be very warm and our winters can be very cold and spring and fall can just be any old thing that mother nature wants to throw our way. So I needed to figure out a work uniform that was flexible, it could keep me warm, but it could also be something that was consistently coming out of my closet, going on my body, and allowing me to get straight to work. That's when I came up with the simple jeans and a pretty basic top look. What I pretty much have for my work uniform in my closet are three different pairs of jeans. A pair of dark jeans, a pair of light jeans that have some tatters and holes in them, which is more for fashion and less for the fact that I can't afford jeans with out holes, and then a pair of black jeans that also have some holes in the knees. So if I have a meeting that I need to go to where I'm looking a little more buttoned up, then I obviously wear my jeans without holes. But I do just like the look and feel of all of these three jeans. They keep me comfortable, they you know can go with pretty much anything, and it makes getting dressed super, super easy. I also pair the jeans in the summertime and the spring and the fall, depending on the weather, with a basic v-neck t-shirt. I love either a white t-shirt or a white t-shirt with black stripes. 
sometimes I'll put on a black t-shirt or maybe a graphic tee that I got from a local shop in Des Moines, Iowa, but for the most part, I pretty much stick to white and black and either just do my white v-neck or my white v-neck with black stripes. But of course, that t-shirt's not gonna keep me warm in the frigid winters of Chicago, in which we like to call Chicago, Siberia. So I do need to resort to something a little warmer like a sweater. If you saw my closet clean out, then you'll know I have a ton of sweaters, but when it comes to grabbing something and putting it on to be more productive and get straight to work, I pick from one of these three. I either have a mustard yellow sweater, and I know this is not black or white or gray or on that color scheme, but mustard yellow happens to be one of my three accent colors that I do incorporate into my wardrobe. So this mustard yellow sweater works just fine for me, especially because it goes with all three of my pants that I choose to wear. I also have a cream v-neck sweater. This is to be worn more in the fall or the spring, but I can layer with jackets if I need to for the winter time, and it's a cream color, it's comfortable, it's kind of like a three-quarter length sleeve, and I just really like the look and the feel because it's just super neutral and basic. And then finally, I have this turtleneck sweater that is black and white, and is just really thick and warm, but I love the details on the side. And again, it goes with all three of my pants options, so I can pretty much wear it whenever I want, especially in the winter. For shoes, I try to keep it really simple. I either wear a pair of tennis shoes because they are comfortable. I also think that they can be rather fashionable when paired with a pair of neutral pants and a neutral top or sweater. My other shoe of choice is a basic black flat, but this is just a comfortable pair of shoes that I can wear anywhere. I can walk around all day in them if I have to, and they go, again, with pretty much anything, but they're still really stylish. So that is my work uniform. For the most part, if I have meetings to go to, if I'm attending a conference, if I'm gonna give a talk, I'm gonna show up in a very basic white t-shirt and jeans. Of course, if I do feel like I need to dress up, I have my standard suit outfit that I can wear, but for the most part, day in and day out to ease my decision-making fatigue, I just wear the same thing. Now the one thing I wanted to point out is that my work uniform will change, and if you decide to do this, yours can too. You can choose to buy the one thing that's gonna make you feel on trend for the season or for the year, and that's totally fine. But I do think that there's a lot of importance in really streamlining what you wear to be very easy to make those decisions. I've dwindled down my work uniform for the fall and the winter time to be three pairs of pants, two t-shirts, and three sweaters. And it makes my mornings so much easier, so much more efficient, and so much more productive. I no longer have to worry about making a decision when I wake up about what I'm gonna wear. All I have to worry about is how I'm going to start the day off in the most productive, effective way possible. So now I wanna hear from you all, what do you think about having a work uniform? Is it even possible in your workplace? I wanna hear your comments, your suggestions, or maybe your favorite part about having a work uniform if you do do it in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this video by giving it a thumbs up if you liked it, and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload more videos that happens on a weekly basis all about personal growth, personal finance, and travel. If you wanna join the conversation even further, we are talking all things money, travel, and personal development in the Wander Wealthy private community. And on top of that, I am in the midst of wrapping up the money program with a beta testing group of 15 women. We're working on building out this program that helps women make smart decisions around their money, get over their money mindset blocks, and set themselves up for success and massive wealth growth in the future. So if you're struggling with paying down debt, setting your own money goals, or deciding whether you should save, invest, pay off debt, stop spending, whatever it is, then join the Wander Wealthy Facebook community because that group is going to be the first to know when I am putting the program up for relaunch starting in January of 2018. So get in the group, go to wanderwealthy.com FB to get your invite and join us all for the party. Until I see you in there, I hope you wander wealthy.